decided to do it all month long. You'll see me live my life every day of June. So get ready to be bored, cause this is Floon. Good very early morning to you all. It is very early in the morning. And we are gonna go to Christopher and Jessica's house and see your cousins. <laughs> very sleepy. Whoa. Did someone? Punch me in the face. So if you watched my vlog yesterday, you would have seen me saying that my brother and sister-in-law and all of their children, they've been completely isolated for a few months and we've been isolated for three weeks. <laughs> and we talked about it a lot, back and forth every day. Like, should we see each other, should we not? Like, what do we do? My parents have isolated for um, a few weeks. So we finally got to see my parents. And then we started talking about it again. We're like, well, we saw our parents and we were all isolated. Like, should we, should we not? We went back and forth the back and forth and after many discussions we decided the kids it would be good for the kids to be able to play and then we can all get together as parents and talk about how we're dealing with all of this and we've all been very very safe we've taken the the coronavirus of all of this terrifyingly like over protectively safe like we don't go anywhere we don't do anything we are very 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 safe with everything so we're like you know what we followed all the rules we're still following all the rules we don't leave our houses at all we can get together and be family so that's what we're gonna do today and I'm very excited I'm also very tired <laughs> Hey guys, so in my exhaustion that day, I forgot to let you know that the deciding factor for our families when we decided to get together was that we realized there was absolutely no way that we could have gotten COVID because we had been completely isolated. So there's no way we could pass it on to our loved ones. So that's why we decided to meet up. I also wanna let you know that my nephew um, has to have a dentist appointment or an orthodontist appointment. We're waiting two weeks after they finish their um, necessary doctor's appointments before we would get back together again. Just in case you see them going to the dentist and you're like, wait a second, I thought they weren't going anywhere. We're waiting two more weeks after any appointment anywhere. So anyway, here you go. This is us seeing each other. It was so fun. Okay, so we're at my brother's house. I'm so happy. So Flynn was really scared at first and really shy for like 15 minutes. But then suddenly we found the chickens. They have chickens and he got really excited about the chickens. And then he wanted to hold Parker's hand. Huh, Parker? Yeah. You guys best buds? Yeah. And now we're all here family and we can actually hug. We are hugging people. Look, we're hugging. <laughs> we haven't hugged people in months. I haven't hugged anyone in like four months. I know, we've been all social distancing and quarantining and isolating for so long. What does isolating mean? Like, like in your house just by yourself. It's so, so like hard. I know. <laughs> Are you saying please? <laughs> mm. Yummy snack time. <laughs> yeah, there's a baby. There's so many bugs out. I know. Mm -mm. You have any yummy snacks? Yeah, the bugs are all coming out of the house. <laughs> that is not how eating Cheerios works. <laughs> Is it yummy? Good job! Jessica has been talking about this oh casserole. So <laughs> There's, it's, what is this, a hash brown casserole? It's what food should be. She brown. has been, literally been talking about it for her whole life, pretty much. And she's telling me I have to try it. So it's basically just hash browns and cheese. It mostly just looks like cheese, which I'm down for, but I don't see, 
I basically don't see any hash brown part of this. I only see cheese part of this. There's a help. Yeah. We have chips. Um, and also, this is chips. <laughs> For like over a year, so I couldn't eat it when I earlier in nursing Luke because he wouldn't do dairy, and I couldn't eat it when I was pregnant because heartburn. How much have you had it? This has been amazing. It's been I, the best I've of been your life. holding off for you because I wanted to make sure there was some left. You like, had this had much I left for you. No, I oh, had okay, okay. I had a pile. Okay. okay, good old pile. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. Where's? I need to fork. Okay, them. okay. Let me tell you. I also add a little pe like pepper and like hot sauce. So like, okay, I'm gonna try it without it first. Yeah. So try it first. Okay. Okay. Me to feed Are you feeding? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Cheesy. I know, it's like all the flavors you want when you think about, like when you're like, I want some no, that's cheesy really potatoes, good. and then you're like. Yeah, it's very cheesy potato -y. Yeah, it's all the things. It's so good. It's <laughs> really yummy. That is really good. I love it. Okay. Put stuff yeah. on it too if you want. I'm gonna try it a little bit more without the other stuff, and then I'll put stuff on it. I feel like you don't actually very like good. it in your mind. I really do. How do you not like cheese and potatoes? What do you mean? Am I insane? It's delicious. What you doing? You skateboarding with the bros? Dude, totally oh wow, Parker got a skateboard for his birthday from Aunt Rachel, and so Eric is teaching him how to skateboard, because Eric's actually a really good skateboarder. He was one of those skateboarding dudes. Skater boy. A skater boy. He had Pierce ear, right? I have Pierce ear, I'm like, he's like a total, like Avril Lavigne would have lost her mind over him in high school. Whoa! Let me see your cool new skateboard from Aunt Rachel. So this is the stuff and this is the back. And she painted that, did you know that? Yeah. That's so cool, huh? Yeah. What's happening? That doesn't have wheels. Oh yeah, one pair. Alrighty, so I told Jessica for her birthday and then for Mother's Day that I would make her these butterscotch chocolate chip things that I make in my family for every Christmas, and they're like her favorite. So I was gonna make them and bring them over, but then we never left the house because we were scared to leave the house because of coronavirus. So I never did it. So I'm doing it now. I'm making her her butterscotch chocolatey treats. And there's my brother, by the way. Hi, I'm the brother. That's the brother, oh my. A, a brother. It's a brother. If you during quarantine have binge watch Haters Back Off, he's the other half of the brains behind Haters Back Off. We wrote that show together. It was a really fun project. And now he's making bread. He's also the creator of the bread recipe I make every single day. Well, not the creator, but you This book is the creator. The book is the creator. Artisan bread book. But he's the reason I make that bread every single day. Hey ho. We are making pizzas. And by we, I mean the boys. They're doing everything. Making pizza dough from scratch. Here is the dough that the boys made. So it's rising right now on the oven. And over here are the crispy treats I made for Jessica. <sighs> Delicious, happy times, happiness with family. It has risen. Can you give Parker cuddles? Give Parker cuddles and give him a hug. Oh. <laughs> Duncan is teaching Flynn how to fold towels. Yeah. You're so good at folding, Duncan. I'm going fast. Very good. What a good folding. <laughs> wow. The boys are doing some construction work right now. What would you call this? Maybe not construction work. What would this be called? Building? Building like, things? Work working on things? I don't know. It's cute though to watch him hammer and screw and whatever. He's very into it. You Can you hammer it in, Flynn? Hammer it in. Good job. Oh, he's using, oh, look at that. That's so cool, Duncan. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. How is the pizza you made, Parker? It's good. You like it? You like the pizza the boys made? Mm -hmm. I don't good? get why there's basil inside of it. For taste. I thought you liked basil. Yeah, but I don't get why there's and pizza. It's for more flavor. Mm -hmm. Like inside of the dog. Yeah, for more flavor. Water. I like pizza and waters. You like pizza and waters? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no wires. Wires? Yeah. 
You like pizza and wires. No, I like pizza and water. And water. I think he said I like pizza and water, but then he said it was pizza and wire. Water? No. Wire. Okay. Spending the night, <laughs> obviously. How you guys doing? Good. We're gonna head back. Today is Blackout Tuesday. I want to talk about that when I get home. I look so wrecked. <laughs> I look very tired. Uh, we'll talk about everything going on when I get home. So see you guys in one second for you, but probably a while before I get there. See you soon. I'm home. We made it home to my dirty office. I was playing on the floor with Flynn earlier. Uh, we drove around our neighborhood a little bit. It's looking good. So far, so good. There's a lot of cops everywhere, but it seems like everything's okay. And so obviously we're still in the middle of everything. So who knows what will happen, but just on the drive back to our house, it seemed pretty calm and respectful. And there was just a lot of cops and sirens, but it seems like everything's okay. So uh, we went in the pool and now Flynn is taking his nap, so it's my daily time to look up ways to help and look up places to donate to and organizations and books and I can get for Flynn or things I can read on my own to educate myself. It's my time for education. And since it is Blackout Tuesday, it is a day to educate and focus on the movement. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey all you cool cats and kittens. Oh my goodness. How's everyone doing? It is Blackout Tuesday today. I wanted to talk about it for a second. I was really confused when I heard about this Blackout Tuesday because when it first came up, there wasn't much information. It was just like, everyone stay off social media. And that was the first thing I read. And then I read, I looked into it more because I didn't understand it. And because I have been under the impression that as an ally, it's important for us to speak up as much as possible and use our voices to help make a difference and make a change. And so I was really confused when I first read it. I was like, wait, I thought we were supposed to speak up and now we're being told to not say anything and completely go offline, which seemed counterproductive. I found a lot of information. Everything was conflicting. I was really confused. And then on Twitter today, I saw a lot more people saying, what the heck? No, we need your voices. I think there's just a lot of misinformation and it was confusing. But from what I understand now is that today is about not posting anything that has to do with yourself, unless you're black, of course. Today is about reflecting and learning and educating yourself on how you can be an ally. And it is about amplifying black voices. It's all about the movement. But it was confusing. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because it is okay to ask questions. It is okay to want clarification and it is okay to educate people kindly on 
on what the situation is, it's important that we do that. It is actually dangerous for us to stop asking questions and to assume you know everything. It, and it is important to, uh, to not just like follow blindly, like just be like, oh, everyone's posting a black square, I'm gonna post a black square and not understand why it's happening. Literally hours last night I spent searching, why are we posting black squares? I wanna understand the true meaning behind it and get passionate about it. That being said, if people are asking questions and are confused, that's okay. I've seen a lot of like fighting online and kind of people getting angry at each other when they don't understand. And there's a way to kindly educate someone because it's it's a good thing when people ask questions. That means they're willing to learn and change and grow. And that's what we want. We can't have change if people aren't willing to learn. And if people try to support and um, they do it wrong a couple times, that's okay to, that's okay. People can make mistakes and they can learn and grow and apologize and, and move forward. I'm seeing a lot of like, well, this person's supporting the movement, but not right. Or this person's supporting the movement, but they only posted once. Or this person didn't post anything here, but they posted on this one. Or this person only donated this much money. Or this person posted the black square, but didn't post this. It, it, like, it's a lot of pointing fingers and getting angry, but like what's important is people are supporting the movement and people are trying and people are making an effort. People are gonna make mistakes. People are gonna mess up. That's okay, the important thing is people are trying. And the important thing is that they're willing to learn and grow. And I just wanna say that I know this is not my movement. I'm a white privileged woman, honey. Like, I, it is not my place to say how things should be done. But this is just how I personally feel. And you can take it or leave it. You can choose to be like, I don't care what you have to say about this. But I feel like it's just important for people to ask questions and to relax. It's important for people to ask questions. It's important for us to get educated and educate each other kindly. And it's important for people to do something. And if someone f hasn't been posting anything and then they finally do, don't criticize them for not posting before. They're doing it. It's a good thing. Like, yay, to encourage them. There's already a lot of hate. I just feel like we could all use a little bit more positivity. I just wanted to throw that out there. Take it or leave it. Oh, a squirrel. There's a squirrel outside. Where'd he go? Oh, there's a squirrel. Do you see it? Ah. 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 Here you go. It's all gone. Say bye bye, squirrel. All right, I got him this little like pop up tent thing on Amazon. Look at this. Oh, Flynn. What is this? In the living room. Oh. Good boy. <laughs> hey, cutie. Come here. Whoa. <gasps> Good job, Flynn. Exhausted. <laughs> Exhausted. Can I see? You pushing the baby in the stroller? Tonight is a lazy night. We're making Slappy Joes. We are very tired as we tell them my ghostly tired face. So we're doing easy tonight. It's almost bedtime, kiddo. You tired? <laughs> yes, he's tired. Oh man, I'm very tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Normally I stay up and I edit and work. I can't do it tonight, I'm too tired. <sighs> and I will be figuring out a, an intro song for June very soon. I'm working on that. I don't know if it's up on the beginning of this video or not, but I still need to figure that out. So I'm working on that. Okay, I'm going to bed. I love you, good night. Hello everybody, welcome to June 3rd. It's June 3rd. So I am working on the new theme song or whatever you wanna call it, intro song for my vlogs right now. And I'm having a hard time. I feel like every month I do kind of the same thing. I could just do that, which is probably what I'll do because it's quick and you don't want a long intro song. You know. I just wrote this and it's too long, but I kind of like it. I don't know. I'm clean, I feel my life every day. Some might think my life is crazy, but it's kind of lame. Unlike other daily vloggers, I just sit at home. I play with my baby and I might make bread dough. I won't buy you a Tesla, but I'll share a recipe. I don't let things on fire, but please do a crap with me. It might not be the most exciting thing you've ever 
never seen, but I'm glad that you're here. This is Quarantined with Colleen. But that's too long. I feel like no one's gonna sit through that. It's just a little theme song, but it's stressing me out. <laughs> so I need to let that go because sometimes I get really focused on things that aren't that important. And there are many more important things going on in our world right now than what 15 second song I put at the beginning of my vlogs. So I haven't even put on my hair and my face and my clothes today. So I'm gonna go work on that. And hopefully next time you see me, I'll look a little bit more presentable. Okay, so I said I would be all dolled up, but I lied to you. I kind of did my hair a little bit and then I haven't gotten to makeup or clothes yet. Don't judge me, okay? I'm not seeing anyone today except for the thousands of people who will watch this. You guys are seeing me, but. Okay, I got a few books in the mail that I had ordered. Little Leaders, um, Bold Women in Black History. I'm very excited about this. This one's for when he's a little bit older. It's, uh, you know, not really for a one-year-old, but it's good for me. I'm excited to read this, even though it's for children. I feel like I'm gonna learn a lot about awesome black women in history and what they did and who they are. So I'm very excited about this. Dream big little one. I told you guys about this in a vlog a few days ago. Um, super cool. It's basically the same idea, but for little kids. So this is awesome. And here's the Bob Marley book, One Love. And so yeah, it's cute and fun and I'm excited to have new books to read to plan. I already have a lot of books that feature diversity and women and um, stuff like that, but I wanted more, I wanted more. So I just got those in the mail, very excited about that. And now I am going to put on clothes. What an exciting day. Okay, I'm wearing clothes now that aren't just pajamas, even though it looks like pajamas. These are jean shorts, and this is a shirt, and this is a sweatshirt. So, <laughs> in case you didn't know what clothes are. Um, but this sweatshirt I wanna tell you about because my friend Christina sent it to me. Her friend owns this company, um, runs this organization that is super awesome, and I've been meaning to talk to you guys about it for forever. Basically, um, it was started because there was a girl, a little girl, who was disabled, and she wanted to be able to play at a playground with her friends. Most playgrounds don't have the things that disabled people need to be able to play. And so one in four people are disabled in some way, and that means one in four kids can't play at a playground with their friends. So on their website, it says, um, transforming lives and building a kinder and more inclusive future. Never give up. This is the mantra and rallying cry of unstoppable community of kind humans dedicated to creating real change and a brighter future we all deserve. So they have a lot of ways you can help them out if you want to. Um, if you wanna go check out their website, it's nevergiveup.org. They have really cute clothes that say never give up. I have this cute tumbler. A lot of cool stuff, but it's basically making it so that the playgrounds can be inclusive and everyone, every child can play, even the ones who are disabled. Anyway, that's where this sweatshirt is from. And um, my friend Christina has been one of my best friends since I was 11 years old. She's awesome. And her friend started this organization. So anyway, I just want to tell you guys about that. If you want to go check it out, I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now, but this is a cool company that I really love. And um, yeah, I encourage you guys to check it out if you have the time. Flynn loves his new stroller, which makes me very happy. So, <laughs> he pushes around his baby in the stroller all day. There's another doll coming that looks like him, like a little boy doll with blonde hair and blue eyes. And then right now it's got this doll and then a Miranda doll that he calls Mama, which is accurate. And so he pushes around his baby and his mama like all day long. He just pushes them around and he gives them water. It's really sweet. Can you give her some water? Yeah, can you give her some water? Oh, thank you, that's so nice. Oh, those are her eyes, okay. You wanna take her sunglasses off? That's very nice, can you give some to mama? Very nice. Yeah, those are sunglasses. You want mama to wear the sunglasses? <laughs> They're a little big, but that works. Baby. Baby, yeah. Can you give the baby a kiss? Mm. Good boy. Blimbel? Yeah, she wants some blimbel. That's what he calls water. That's very nice. It makes me happy because he had a couple dolls a long time ago, wanted nothing to do with them. We would try to get him to hold or cuddle or kiss the dolls and he just wanted nothing to do with them. Like we just dropped them on the ground. Um, and so we got rid of them after a while. And I was like, what if they're in a stroller? 
So that's what we try now, and he likes it. He likes pushing them around. My sweet little angel Flynn was so cuddly tonight. I just cuddled him for so long, and now it's like 9 p.m., and I'm gonna make some dinner. I don't really know what I'm making. We don't want anything crazy, but we're hungry. Maybe some rice aroni and chicken. I'm feeling simple tonight, so I'm gonna make some dinner. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna make something up. So I've been brining some chicken, which basically just means you let your chicken soak in like salty seasoned water, and that hopefully makes it juicier somehow. I don't really understand it, but apparently that happens. Um, so I think I'm gonna bake chicken and put like a crusty crust. I don't really have any good breadcrumbs, so I'm just gonna use Goldfish crackers, I'm gonna make like a cheesy chicken. Don't touch me, I don't know what I'm doing. Usually I teach you guys like how to make something, but tonight I'm making it up as I go. This might do it for a while. Some Cheez-Its. And I'm gonna crush these up for the breading of the chicken. And I'm also gonna grate some cheese, I think, so I'll get like actual cheese on it. I think I'm gonna dip it in like some garlicky butter and then dip it in my cheesy crumble and then bake it and see what happens. It might be horrible. It'll probably be horrible. But it also might be amazing. Who knows? We'll find out together. Okay, I think I already made a mistake. I found some Italian style gluten-free breadcrumbs. And so I threw those in there, but they're like a really strong Italian herby smell. And it just doesn't smell good with the cheese. Like now that I've crushed it all together. I don't know about this. I have my cheesy mixture here. I put some shredded cheese in there as well. I'm gonna put it on the bottom of this. So I'm gonna dip the chicken in this and then I'm gonna throw it in here and shaky shaky until it gets covered. Put it in this and let it bake. Let's see what happens. Just there's chicken underneath that cheese somewhere. I'm gonna pop it in the oven at 375 for like 20 minutes. We'll just check the internal temperature until it hits 165. Hopefully, we'll have some chicken. Ta da! Okay, let's take a bite. Is it done? I think it's done. Hot. I mean, it's fine. It's nothing to write home about. It's just like chicken. Not very exciting. Oh my god, I literally hate myself. I had this brilliant idea to do a bunch of videos tonight, and I thought I was gonna get all these videos done. I had so many ideas, and I filmed half of one video, and then I started to film the next video, and now my office looks like this. And I didn't even get half of that one done. So now I have zero videos filmed, only half of one, and like an eighth of another, and it's 1.30 in the morning. So I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna take off my makeup, I'm gonna take a breath, and I'm gonna go to bed. This is a classic case of... This is a classic case of Colleen Ballinger thinking that she can do a thousand things and then being disappointed when she only gets one or two of those things done or even half of those things done. And I learned in therapy that it's important to be proud of yourself for the accomplishments you do get finished and be proud of yourself for getting anything done as opposed to being disappointed in all the things you didn't get done. So I'm trying to do that right now, but I'm actually mostly just really disappointed in myself because I had all these plans and uh, didn't get anything done. All right. I'm gonna upload this footage and I'm gonna edit a little bit and then I'm gonna take off my makeup and then I'm gonna go to bed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching this extremely long vlog. But now we're up to date. I like to post my day the next day, if that makes sense. So I film all day and then the next day I like to post the day I had prior. And so I was a little behind, so I wanted to catch up. So I hope you enjoyed this very combined vlog. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow.